you set up an office to investigate corruption, or when it suits you, you send it to the police. I am not going to have that. So the matter has been investigated by us. When the docket is brought up, we shall make a decision whether or not there is a case to answer. Mm. You can't investigate a case when you haven't had both sides. And uh, this, is, this is not the first time this type of obstruction, which I have referred to in my right lap, is happening. Your people choose to interfere with my corruption investigations when they think it doesn't suit them. But we have to do a professional work impartially. I, 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 I have been brought here to do a job, and that's what I'm going to do. So the answer is that we are investigating. So, so as far as you are concerned... Is, they are two, the two of them are on bail. Uh -huh. I was going to ask, they as far as you are bail. concerned, what was the status of the, the, the Mr. Bissu and his other colleague? Oh, Mr. Bissu is a public officer because he's also a presidential aide. The other one is a politically exposed person. The police doesn't deal with politically exposed persons. No. I deal with them. Yeah, I, I mean, in the context of investigation, you've spoken to them already. The, the, the graphic is reporting in other papers that he's been exonerated. So I'm saying that I, in, I in, in terms know, of your I investigation, what is the status? Uh, the, the, the statement he made won't come to me until the investigation is complete and the docket is forwarded. Then, but I have the statements from both complainants and the suspects. So I'll be in a position to make a decision fairly and impartially. So which means they are cooperating right? with you, Mr. Bisu and his colleague are cooperating with you because you've, you've questioned I'm them. I'm saying that they are cooperating. And when I wrote to the chief of staff to release him, she'll be releasing. So and the police know that I have told them they can't do it. And the Minister of Interior knows that I've told him that for them for them to direct police to do it, it's a political decision. If I've been set up to investigate through that political direction, why would politicians send a case to the police when they know I'm supposed to do it handle it? So is we don't want to set up this office of special prosecutor, we don't. So is this one of the things you refer to? Because in paragraph two of your letter last week you you'd quote if, if you permit me that there have been cases <laughs> I where don't, i won't make a comment no, no, no. on that because you said that I, I am so experienced that if i don't step on the stone i don't say things no i'm, I'm asking because this is directly related i am where not you, going to make a comment on that i'm saying that whatever I, I have written means that i have evidence to support them if you want to count this as one of them i've told you i wrote to the commissioner the uh, director general she ID that it was in her jurisdiction. I've written to the Minister of Interior. I've copied the presidency. I wrote to the uh, chief of staff to release this you. Okay. Now, be, uh, and I don't, I don't, I, I act that chief crime as crime. I don't care who is involved. Brilliant. The, the CDD did a review of your work a few months ago and pointed out that the issue of parallel investigations could be one of the major hamstrings to your institution's ability to deliver. So this, well, this, this case is, appears to be one of the key examples, does it not? The, the point is, as far as I'm concerned, the police has no jurisdiction in the matter. And uh, the no ministers can refer cases which uh, belong to me to them. The president says he was appointing me so that there won't be political interference. So why would a minister bypass me and refer the case to the police? Martin Amidu to stop working. No! Has a minister who wrote a letter to the CID told Martin Amidu to stop working? No! Has the CID in his report told Martin Amidu to stop working? No! Honestly, I don't think it is useful to be at opposite ends of the table with the CID. I think it would be better for him to pick up that report. Look at flaws, if any, he finds per his pay view within the Special Prosecutors Act. And move on to deal with those issues. Nobody has asked him not to work on Mr. Bissou's report. Nobody has stopped him from moving to investigate that matter. And nobody can stop him from doing that. And when they are ready, they will give the dockers up to us as uh, prosecutors. We will assess it and we will make a decision. And then I will see who will stop me. Okay, fair enough. Thank then, you. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank you for, for speaking to us, Mr. Uh, Martin Amidu.